This is uh, the ESP32 S3 Box 3 development. The Home Assistant dudes have made this project uh, available, uh, which hopefully will work pretty well for us right off the bat. This is how this is what it's going to do basically. So it's going to make a voice assistant. But what's unique about this particular thing is it's got a screen. It should put a little face on there on the screen and let us uh, see the home assistant um, voice assistant like thinking and stuff. So that's what we're going to try and do. You guys ready? So these are ready made projects on the ESP home. This is a ready made projects page. I, I assume that this ready made projects page is going to expand because they already have some things you can just click on here and then you can connect and in install. So you can make uh, an empty ESP home device. You can make a media player and it gives you the devices that you can select which device you have. So they're really trying to make it easy to do this. Uh, you can do a Bluetooth proxy, which I actually need to do. I need to do some of these. Or you can do a voice assistant. We're going to do voice assistant. So select your variant. I have the S3 Box 3. And it comes with, just like it showed on that Amazon thing, it comes with a whole bunch of things. It comes with a, a base that you can actually put a battery in. Uh, and then this base has other sensors on it. Like it's got, not sure what sensors exactly. It says radar. This looks like a light sensor or something. So we'll have to play with that and see what that does. Oh, infrared. This is an infrared sensor. But then it also has a couple of other bases, which are very DIYable. So this one has all the pins um, that you could potentially use that you could just connect jumpers to. This one goes like as if it were going to bolt into another device. Like, oh, I don't know, maybe an animatronic parrot. <laughs> and uh, it does the same thing where it breaks out the, the pins, the GPIO pins that you could use for other things right here and gives you some uh, screws that you can you know, screw this onto the face of something else. And it's just got a nice flush uh, finish and you can pop this thing on and off. Okay. Or it also comes with this one, which is the ultimate DIY version, which doesn't give you really any base at all, but it just gives you headers, just gives you headers there for the pins. So it comes with all those things. I think I'll just start with this one. Connect this to the computer. I guess when we first power this up, it'll probably show us the demo. Let's see, touch to return, next. Functional button, customized by user. So this has buttons on the sides. <clears throat> All right, let's just see what it does. Uh, press button to reset the device, user customized. Steps for voice assistant. Say, hi ESP, to wake up the device. Whoa, say command. Turn on the lights. Time didn't like me. This is just an example, right? This isn't going to, I don't know what this, because it's not linked to Home Assistant or anything yet. So this, these are just example pages. Anyways, we're going to flash it with something else and it's going to all go away. All right, connect. There it is. Connect. Install voice assistant. There we go. Wow, that was really fast. Now we've got a Home Assistant logo, or at least just the blank. All right. We're gonna add to Home Assistant. Okay, that's my Home Assistant URL. One second. Okay, this guy. Office. Finish. Hey, you got a little face already. Okay, so look, it's got a face. It's a little Home Assistant guy. He's gray right now, and he has a little smiley face. This guy here. You guys see this? Allow this device to make Home Assistant service calls. Yes. Okay, finish. So it is on the use wake word. Let's let's see if it's set to the default wake word. Hey Nabu. Turn on office light. Did you guys see that? Oh. oh. That so that's all you gotta do. Hey Nabu. Turn off office light. Turned off its own backlight though. <laughs> Just turned off all the lights. <laughs> yeah, see, I, my names are so screwy. I, I haven't been naming things with the intent of being able to have them turn things on and off. Hey, Nabu, turn off keyboard. It worked. It worked.
It worked. Okay, Nabu. Turn on keyboard. Yeah, turned on. So if you guys can see this, I wish you could. So he's got a little happy face, right? And when I say, hey, Nabu, turn off keyboard. That's his thinking face. And then he turns it off. So when he's gray, so right now he's gray. But then when you do the, when you do the wake word, hey, Nabu, turn on keyboard. He does a thinking face and then he turned him on. Um, yeah, he sticks his tongue out. Mm. So now let's look at something. I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is the ESP home sketch. And what you can do when you make your own is you can change the images that it puts on the screen. So if you wanted to do your own little images for what it does when it's thinking or whatever, uh, in this ESP home sketch, somewhere around here, I was looking at it earlier and I saw it, there it is. It, right here, it, uh, you can re-assign uh, which files it looks at for the different things. So it's calling this thing Casita. And when it's doing, and up here somewhere is Casita Idle. And uh, it's going to take this image and put it on the screen when it's idle. It's going to take this image and put it on the screen when it's listening. Um, it's going to take this image and put it on the screen when it's thinking. So you could change that to whatever you want it to be to make it look different for you. Isn't that awesome? That was pretty doggone easy. Oh, I do want to adopt this. Yeah. We're going to call it the HA voice box. That makes sense. Or maybe we should just call it the voice box. We're just going to call it the voice box. We're going to adopt it. Okay, just to summarize, this little guy is really easy to set up. Wasn't that simple? Like, I just went through this these steps here went uh, to home assistant and just uh, like accepted it and then away away it goes oh that was the thing we were going to do we we're going to do the custom wake word okay custom wake word time guys ready custom wake word for the first run it's recommended use okay nabu just to run the setup sorry you're fine that's okay once you have it all set up you can create your own wake words well yeah all right this is what you got to do you got to have one of these development kits, whatever. This one works fine. Create your own wake word. Think of a wake word. <laughs> there is a whole list because you have to kind of train these wake words, but there is a whole repository that somebody, wake word repo, there it is, found it. So these are wake words that somebody already went through the process. Uh, think of the word three or four syllables kind of tells you open the wake word training environment. And this was, this is like a, um, Google collab page, put a word in here. So you find a word that's going to work and you, you have to kind of spell it phonetically in here. And then this part is what takes forever is training the models. Training the model takes a long time. So, but this is how you train it. So you could have your own custom word. If you went through this repo here, these are all ones that other people have done, but there's some fun ones here. Like, Hey Frank, <laughs> Hey honey, Hey Homer. So you get the word. Uh, you go, this is how you go through that process to create what those guys already have in their repository, right? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, does it sound good? Run all, it'll make these files. Once the process is finished, you should have two files in your downloads folder, TF Lite and Onyx files. Only TF Lite is used. Okay, so that's the TF Lite is the file we need. So if somebody else wants to make your wake word for you or you want to download somebody else's TF Lite file, that's the wake word file. Congratulations, you just applied machine learning to create your own wake word model. Yay, next step is to add it to Home Assistant. Boom, we can do this. There it is, it's, it is an add-on. So you do have to go in and, and um, install this open wake word add-on, okay? But you just go here, just search open wake word, you know, and, it'll, it, it, and you have to install that first. Does the HA Voice Assist have audio reply? Yes, it does. I'm sorry you guys couldn't hear it because it's pretty quiet, but yes, it does. Samba install. Yes, so <laughs> okay, there it is. We got it. Share folder, excellent. 
new folder, open wake word, great. All right, now I got that folder. Uh -huh. Okay, drop your shiny new wake word model into that folder. All right, let's go get a, a wake word here. Which wake word model, which one do we want? Hey, Santa. Sure, let's do Santa. Download, download the raw file. Hey, Santa, excellent. Oop. So now, hey, Santa.tf lite is in our share open wake word file, our folder, sorry. Okay, go to settings and voice assistant. Either create a new assistant and, and select add it. Select add assistant or edit an existing assistant. Okay, voice assistants. Let's add a new assistant. And we're going to call it voice box. Voice, yeah, sure, whatever. We'll just leave that for now. Okay, wake word. Open wake word. And then what wake word do you want? And hey, Santa is on the list. Create. All right, we're almost there. We're almost done. Almost done for the day. Smells like bacon down there. We're going to go to ESP home, 26 devices. We're going to find our voice box. Here it is. And then in here, we will switch the pipeline to voice box. And tell it to use the wake word. And that should be it. Toggle the wake word. Okay, good call, Valkov. Good, good call. Let's see. That's it. Okay. Hey, Santa. Yes, I love you. Yeah, so that was the trick. Turn the wake word off and back on. Valkov got it. Turtle plate was not far behind. Okay, so now this guy is there. And what was it we had him do? Keyboard, right? Hey, Santa, turn off keyboard. Hey, Santa, turn on keyboard. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, God, so happy. Woo, we did it. That was awesome. That was it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Mm. Okay. So exciting. So exciting. I was just looking at all the other settings on this thing. Um, so clearly in this, for this device, they have not taken advantage of all of the sensors and stuff that are available here, which is probably possible. But what we've got to do is instead, in, in, in the ESP home sketch, instead of what's in there, we need to put this in there so we can modify it. It's not bad, 50 bucks. It's not bad. I, I wonder if there are, I mean, I'd have to look at the pinout and stuff. It would be great if you could hook it up to bigger speakers, you know, hook it up to a powered speaker. Um, would be one thing to do, but everything else about it is pretty awesome. I mean, the fact that it's got a little face on it. And like I said, you can, if, if we take this sketch here, I am not, uh, probably ever going to, um, train my own wake word. I seriously doubt it. I, I it's great that there's a repository here full of custom wake words and that's good enough for me. And I'm sure that it's going to keep on growing. Actually, it hasn't grown much in two months. Come on community. Add some wake words. Gosh, instead of this just being this, if we uh, use this instead, then we can go in and uh, change the files and we can do other things. Like this has got a lot of stuff, um, but I don't think it has all of the sensors that this thing has available to it. The screen is a touch screen and uh, with this base, there's um, a radar, an infrared, and a temperature and humidity sensor. But there's these two buttons on the side as well. A boot button and another button that you could assign stuff to. But this is, this is awesome. So we had a good day. Did we have a good day? Everybody agree we had a good day? Can we? I'm going to set it right here next to my Google Home and my Aleka screen. <laughs> 
genuine question. Does it accept naughty words? Yeah. Yeah. Any word you want. Want to build a voice assistant into a Disney build a droid? Yeah. Uh, and there's going to be a contest. There's going to be a um, home assistant voice contest for who can make the coolest looking stuff. Watch this, girls. You ready? Where are we watching? This little guy here. You see him? Yeah. Okay. Tell, say, hey, Santa, turn on keyboard. Hey, Santa. Turn on keyboard. <laughs> All right. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios. At least, if it's at least a half hour long, it counts as one of the streams of Christmas. That's my new rule. And like I said before, I make the rules, so. Bye.